Tony Gerard for Shawnee College Science in Seconds. Happy National Paw Paw Day. Bet you didn't know there was one. You know, back in the spring, we did a video on paw paws and we showed you the flower, which was kind of a, an odd, deep maroon flower. Well, now in September is when the fruits are ripe. And we got some right up here. I wonder if I could shake one down even. So here he is, a pawpaw fruit. This one fell and it's not quite ripe yet. And I can tell because it's still hard. Uh, but pawpaws are a neat tree. Um, they're very tropical in appearance. It's actually, this isn't a particularly large one, but they're the largest fruit native to Southern Illinois. And uh, they're getting ripe right about now. They smell like bananas when they're ripe and they tend to be kind of soft. And their taste and texture is very much like an overripe banana, at least to me. Pawpaw is what they call an anachronistic fruit, meaning that it's adapted for a seed disperser that's no longer present. And I'm gonna try to cut this guy open here. Okay, and there we are. And this one's not quite ripe yet, but notice it's got pretty big seeds. Now the idea of a seed with an edible food around it from the, from the plant perspective is, some animal eats this, then poops the seeds out later in a nice pile of fertilizer, right? Well, those two, those seeds are really too big to be swallowed by most everything that lives around here now. Most things that eat pawpaws just eat around the seed and don't swallow it. So its original seed disperser were probably mammoths and mastodon and a lot of that Ice Age megafauna that's now extinct, but the tree's still here. Now, fortunately for the tree, they also clone themselves really easily with root sprouts. And a lot of times, like all the little pawpaw trees in this woods could be clones from a single individual. Okay, now this one here is definitely ripe to a little bit overripe, right? And uh, another name is a custard apple. Because they have a texture very much like custard and a taste very much like a banana. Um, the D Explorer DeSoto was the first guy to write about them. Lewis and Clark enjoyed them on a trip out west and apparently uh, George Washington liked them also. But kind of a mellow banana-like texture. Um, there are recipes for making pawpaw bread, pawpaw ice cream. If you look it up online, there's a lot of them. But the pawpaw season's pretty short. Uh, they ripen and they're gone pretty quick and it's, it's right now. So if you wanna try them, better hurry. So edible tropical-like fruit from Southern Illinois. How cool is that?